Hi, welcome to how to build next level web applications with Cloud Run. I'm Justin Mahood, a product manager in Google Cloud. Hi, I'm Sarah Ford. I'm a senior developer relations engineer on Google Cloud focusing on serverless. And today we're going to be talking about Cloud Run. Cloud Run allows you to deploy and scale applications fast and securely in a fully managed environment. It's simple and automated. There's no infrastructure to manage and no cluster to worry about. And it allows you to go faster and as a developer, just be more productive. Cloud Run services automatically scale their container instances up and down based on incoming requests or events. And you only pay when your containers are processing requests. With Cloud Run services, you can build things like public websites and APIs using server-side rendered pages, REST or GraphQL APIs, or maybe streaming with WebSockets. It's also great for internal services, like internal websites or APIs, or private HTTP and gRPC microservices. And finally, it's great for data processing workloads, like processing queue messages or at the center of an event-driven architecture. But few applications are just a container, particularly a web application. And that's why we've worked to make Cloud Run easy to integrate with the rest of the GCP ecosystem. So let's break down a typical full stack web application. First, you've got a Cloud Run service, the compute to run your web server or your API in a container. Typically, you need some kind of database, maybe Cloud SQL for a relational database or Firestore for a fully managed document database. Depending on your application, you may also need a cache layer or an in-memory database, such as Redis using Cloud Memory Store. You may also need cloud storage for storing status, static assets or other files. Finally, you want to host your application at the domains of your choice, leverage CDN caching, or maybe even serve the front end from a storage bucket. Our global external load balancer can help you there in conjunction with Cloud CDN and Cloud Armor. And one great thing about using Cloud Run at the center of your web application is how easy it is to use all these components together. Here are some of the ways Cloud Run can help improve your developer velocity when building a web app, like I just described. So for example, for most Google Cloud services, like Firestore or Cloud Storage, along with many others, you can consume them seamlessly just by including their client libraries in your code. This just works using Cloud Run's per-service identity. Cloud Run also offers built-in support for Cloud SQL connectivity and authentication, as well as tight secrets manager integration. And then when you're ready to deploy, our integration with Cloud Build lets you go from source to container in a single command. You can even set up continuous delivery from your Git repository in just a few clicks. However, there are some scenarios where the integration process is a bit more complicated. Let's take using a Redis cache, for example, using Cloud Memory Store, our fully managed caching product. First, you need a Cloud Memory Store instance sitting on a VPC network. You need to make sure there's a serverless VPC access connector that can access the Redis cache. This allows Cloud Run to access VPC resources directly. And finally, you need to configure your Cloud Run service to use the VPC connector and make sure the connection information for the cache is available to your code via environment variables. Now, this is a bit more involved than some of the other scenarios we just talked about. And anytime we see creepy complexity, that's an opportunity to simplify the developer experience. So we've improved this experience to just be a few clicks or a single CLI command using a feature called integrations, which is now in preview. Let me show you a quick example. You'll now see an integrations tab in the detail page of your Cloud Run service. From here, you click Add Integration and select Redis. Modify the name and the size as desired and click Deploy. Congratulations, you now have a Redis cache connected to your Cloud Run service. In addition to a few new resources being created, the Redis cache and the VPC connector, your Cloud Run service has been automatically wired up to map the correct environment variables and networking settings. All you have to do is focus on writing your code. Another scenario we've simplified is, is configuring custom domains for your Cloud Run services using our global external load balancer. The global load balancer can be quite powerful as part of your web application. Beyond just configuring domains for your Cloud Run service, 
you can set path specific routes, you can control cache settings with Cloud CDN or firewall rules with Cloud Armor. But previously, setting this up with Cloud Run has required nearly a dozen steps and creating many networking resources along the way. We've created an integration for this scenario as well, streamlining the process so you can spend more time iterating on your code. Let me show you an example of this one. Back in the Integrations tab, add another integration. This time, choose Custom Domains. Enter the domain or the subdomain you want to use for this service, and then let Cloud Run handle the details. You can even add multiple entries for different domains or even paths and configure them just as simply. The only thing you need to do is configure your DNS record. You'll have an SSL certificate provisioned automatically. These new integrations are designed to help simplify complex patterns that are common in applications, particularly web applications, in keeping with our goals of simplicity, automation, and always focusing on improving developer velocity. Just a few highlights. This is one command for complex integrations, like Redis and custom domains using load balancing. It wires up Cloud Run for you with the appropriate settings, gives you easy access to all of the related resources, and it's available in the G Cloud Run CLI, as well as integrated directly into the Cloud Run console user interface. And now I'm going to hand it over to Sarah Ford, who's going to show you these new features in action. Sarah? Thanks, Justin. In this demo, you will see how you can use Cloud Run integrations to automatically create and configure a Redis in memory data store and a cloud load balancing based custom domain. Here is a small single page app using Vue.js running on localhost. It keeps track of the number of votes for dogs or cats. I have Redis running locally as an in memory data store. Now I'm on Team Dogs. Collies, Bulldogs, Turbo Dogs, the Blue Dog. But then again, my neighbor's cat is pretty cool. And to keep the demo code short, I'll implement the exclusive OR at a later date. Now in the code, you can see I'm using Redis as a simple in-memory data store to hold the vote counts. You can see the default Redis host and Redis port environment variables here in our Express.js app which are used to connect to Redis. Now in an, our routes, in the get dogs route, you can see how I check the status of Redis and return an error if Redis isn't available, which you'll see later on. Otherwise, I just return what's in Redis. Similarly, in the post dogs request to vote, if Redis is not available, I return an error. Otherwise, I just increment the count. For a front end, I wrote a small Vue.js single page app that you just saw, which is located alongside the Express app. For purposes of this demo, I'll use the same Cloud Run service to serve this client side app. I can do this by building the Vue.js app into a distribution folder within my cat's XOR dogs service, which will serve it as static files on the root route. As Justin mentioned earlier, there are numerous features that focus on improving your developer velocity. For example, you can use gcloud run deploy to utilize cloud build to go from source to container to deployment in a single command. I'll answer some questions. For example, the location of the source code is in the local directory. And I'll use this adjusted service name, cats, x, or dog service by hitting enter. I'll enable some APIs needed for the integration. This is the first time I'm running the integration on, in this project. I'll make the endpoints public since this is an API and a single page app. Now we'll wait for the container to be built and deployed. At this point, I do not have a Redis instance running in Google Cloud. I only had a Redis instance running locally, so voting on the site will not work. Now that the service is deployed, let's open the Vue.js web app. Now we see that we do not have a Redis instance available. Instead of going to Cloud Memory Store for Redis and creating the instance manually, you'll see me use the Cloud Run integration feature Justin 
just introduced to create the Redis instance on your behalf. So you can click the new integration tab and then click add integration to get started. And you can just click Redis. For the small app, the default of one gigabyte capacity looks good. And you are prompted to enable any required APIs for this integration. Next, you'll see the resources that will automatically be created for you. For example, the serverless VPC connector will be created for you automatically since Cloud Run requires the connector to talk to Redis, which is in a VPC network. Please review the docs for the additional costs for these two resources. Let's hit Submit to get started, and you'll get updates as resources are created. We see our Redis instance is now active. At the bottom for next steps, you'll see the two new environment variables. These are the same variable names you saw me use earlier. And as part of the integration process, a new revision of our Cloud Run service was deployed. In this new revision, you'll see the two environment variables automatically configured to use the new Redis instance. So let me do a refresh. Now that we're using a new Redis instance in Google Cloud, the votes are starting out at zero. Since I was using the same environment variables from my local host development, adding the Redis integration just worked. I did not have to make any additional code changes. And thus the debate continues. Now that we have Redis connected, Let's go back and see what else we can do with integrations. Let's explore the option to create a custom domain using a Google Cloud load balancer. A custom domain allows you to reach your application with your self-chosen domain name, as opposed to a run.app URL. A Google Cloud load balancer is super powerful. It gives you the ability to add Cloud CDN and Cloud Armor, among other features and you'll have more advanced request routing capabilities. Setting up a Google Cloud Load Balancer manually requires nearly a dozen steps where you have to create several networking resources along the way. Cloud Run integrations help simplify this process. Here you can see this integration is creating six resources and wiring them together for you. For example, the mapping table, which tells a router how to route your request. To be clear, you can still customize these resources for your own needs. Our goal is to help you get the job done faster by automating all of these manual tasks. Once you click on Add Integration, all you need to provide is your domain name. And the integration suggests for the default values that I direct all requests to this domain to be sent to this Cloud Run service, which is hosting my single page app. And that's it. Just hit Submit. And to re-emphasize, this is the same process that you would follow to configure it manually, and you can still edit the resources later. This includes the provisioning of a SSL certificate on your behalf. Cloud Run Integrations is choosing the best defaults for using these products with a Cloud Run service. Now that you see the IP address is available, you can now go create your DNS record. 
Here, I'm using Google Domains and adding an A record to this new IP address as suggested by the integration. And note, I'm using a TTL of one minute for demo purposes. Now our integration is active and that took about a little less than 10 minutes for me. Let's view the details of the integration. And here you can see all the resources that were deployed. And let's copy our domain name. and visit our site and cast our votes. As for next steps, you now have the power of a Google Cloud load balancer since the integration provisioned it for you. For example, you can control cache settings with Cloud CDN and configure firewall rules with Cloud Armor. Even though you saw me use Cloud Console, you can do everything that I showed today using gCloud. So let's use gCloud to recap. You can view the list of current integrations, and you can describe an integration. For example, custom domains, and see the SSL certificate has been provisioned. And this concludes the demo for CloudRun integrations. Thanks, Sarah. And thanks to everyone for watching our talk. If you want to learn more about using CloudRun at the center of your web application and connecting to a variety of GCP services, including our new preview feature of integrations. You can check that out on the public documentation pages for Cloud Run. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.